Hey guys, welcome to another Take Two. The idea behind the Take Two is less yakking, more shooting, overall shorter video. Pretty sure everybody can get behind that. When I kind of came up with the idea of doing these Take Two videos, one of the first guns that popped right into my mind was this one, the Beretta Nano. I said, I have got to get this gun back out to the range and just shoot it some more, period. That's it. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do today. When I did my first 100 with this gun, and it's been a long time, I bet it's been almost two years, and it has sat and languished in my safe for all that time, I had a little bit of difficulty with the pistol. And a lot of people suggested that I might want to try heavier loads, heavier grain bullets. So I am shooting Sig Sauer Elite Performance 124 grain ball. Let's see how she does. <laughs> So far, so good. Man, it is a hot, humid, sticky day. One of the things that still really is weird to me is no external slide stop, slide release control on the Nano. Pretty weird. Nice. I'm kind of starting to get my memory back on what a, what a cool little shooter this is. I like it. Let's load these magazines up. Go some more. Some guns really do like a heavier round to uh, to cycle the action reliably and some are designed just that way so the Breda Nano certainly could be one. It does seem to like this 124 grain SIG ammo that's for sure. It's definitely ringing the bell. Man don't you hate when you feel like something crawling across your skin on a really hot muggy day and you're in the trees you're not quite sure if it's a drop of sweat or a tick crawling on you. I hate that. Not a big fan of the ejection to the forehead. I've had a couple of those, but otherwise, nice little shooter. Okay, still shooting the Sig Sauer Elite Performance 124 grain full metal jacket. This ammo was provided by Sig Sauer. Ow, that one hurt. <laughs> Might have to wear a helmet or something. So I've had like three, maybe four, whack me right square in the forehead, and I am not a big fan of that. I do have a talon grip on this pistol and on the extension of the extended magazine. I can't remember. I could have looked. I know I could have done my own research on my own channel, but no. I don't remember if I had that on when I did my first hundred. So in case I didn't, you know, that's something different. Trigger has a long stroke and it's fairly heavy, but it's very smooth. There's no grit. And it's a nice even pull all the way through. Very nice trigger for a carry gun. And she's shooting flawlessly. The last of the SIG ammo. Let's see. 
That little steel target is about 15 yards from me. Let's see if I can hit it one-handed. Okay. Gun shoots pretty good one-handed. It really does not, uh, it's a snappy gun, obviously, if you're shooting, you know, full house factory loads, but, uh, you know, it's, you can't, you can't change physics, and it is very small and very light, but it handles the recoil really good, and I think I said that when I did my first hundred, I was very surprised at just how soft it felt shooting this gun, considering how tiny it is. Moving along to some Remington. UMC, 115 grain. So let's see how, if we go back to some lighter stuff, let's see how she does. Okay, nice. Probably one of the best pocket carry pistols, maybe, uh, you know, almost almost car PM9 size or CM9, both of those guns. It's got good three dot sights. They're low. They sit low to the slide, which I kind of like. And it's going to reduce the ability for them to snag, which is good for a carry gun. So that was well thought out, putting these low, low sights on it. A lot of times you'll see these tiny little pocket pistols and sometimes they even, they'll even do like a dehorning type of, of job designing the gun and then they'll put these giant sights sticking out on them. So, you know, somebody at Beretta was thinking about that. Put these low, low rider sights. Here's the extended magazine. You can see that extended base plate. It does give you a significant addition to the grip. So now you really do have a full size grip. You want to wrap your meat hooks around that. Makes it a little nicer for the rain. Gun gets warm with that short barrel. But man, I'll tell you what, it is controllable as heck. See, I'm 15 yards from that target, so you know you can be the judge. I'm all over the place on it, but I'm not missing it too much. Still at it. Now let me try to take some real slow shots and see if I can hit the head of this target. I forget where the aim point is, whether it likes a six o'clock or point of aim. We'll find out. All right. Nope. I'm tending to pull my shots left, and I know it's because I'm getting too much finger in this trigger. Very carryable, very shootable, accurate, seems to be very reliable. I'm not finding a whole lot to not like about the Nano. Um, you know, the, there's the whole weird doesn't have a slide stop thing, which is strange to me, but you know, I could live with it, I guess. And I know the idea was just to strip the outside of this pistol of any controls that would make it snag or make it thicker. I get that, and mission accomplished. So. Ooh, I 
missed one. Of course, with the extended magazine, this part of my hand is sort of holding the magazine in place. So when I press the, the mag release, it doesn't want to drop because I'm holding it, I'm holding it in there. So otherwise, it makes it works really nice. Okay, wrapping up my take two with the Beretta Nano. A nice, nice little nine millimeter carry gun. Very micro sized. I would definitely call this micro sized pistol. It's a little shooter. I'm having fun with it. And uh, this gun has definitely today <laughs> jumped itself up several notches on my list of guns I would recommend for personal protection. I'll talk more about that at another time, but uh, man, this little, this little pistol is sweet. Beretta Nano, one of the most underrated little concealed carry options out there in nine millimeter in micro size. You know what else is really underrated according to some of the people that are very kind with their comments on my channel and that would be my channel. So if you could do me a huge favor and I never ask this, it's probably the first time ever uh, and I'm not even comfortable doing it, but if you like this video or you like any of my other videos, do me a favor, give it a like and if you don't subscribe, I'd appreciate it if you would, then you'll get to know first when new videos come out.